guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we're going to paint this plate carrier. Uh, this is also, I'm painting this at the same time I'm painting my backpack, so this is kind of an experiment to see how it turns out. I'm going to tape off the Velcro fields on the front and the back because I want to maintain those. I do have Velcro kind of up here on the side. I'm just going to paint that. We're just going to see how that goes. I don't anticipate needing a lot of Velcro on the sides anyway, the way I set up my plate carriers. So if it works out, cool, I'll still have Velcro. If not, whatever, I guess I, I lose my side Velcro, no big deal. So we're going to paint this. Again, the reason we paint things is because the black will actually stick out. Uh, black sticks out at night. And black also sticks out in, you know, wooded environments and stuff like that. It's counterintuitive that black sticks out at night. However, you can experiment with this yourself. Uh, put your wife or your buddy or your kids in one of your black coats or with one of your black bags. And at night, go out in your backyard and have them stand at one end and you stand at the other. And let me know if you can see them. And then try it again with something in multicam or maybe more of a coyote brown or a uh, wolf gray. Try something like that and see if it's easier to see them. Uh, you can experiment with this yourself and you'll be able to see that the black sticks out a lot better, <laughs> sweet irony, than the wolf gray or the coyote brown or the multicam. And that has the, to do with the way your eye sees hues in color. So we're going to paint this plate carrier. This is uh, one of my plate carriers that I bought a while ago and I bought it in black and so I want to fix that now so it can be more of a work carrier. So let's paint it and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're out here in the garage, and we are going to try some Rust-Oleum tan here for a base coat. So we'll see how that goes. Second coat. Third coat. Okay, so we've done three coats of pan. Now we're going to do a coat of green here. I Okay, the netting didn't work that great, so I just put some streaks in it. Uh, I wasn't getting enough color. The nylon really soaks up the color, so I wasn't really able to get enough uh, paint on the plate carrier with through the netting. So I just put some streaks on it. We'll let it dry. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, so this is how it turned out. Uh, I did not get the top velcro completely covered there as you can see that um, I only kind of got one one spot and missed the rest apparently I forgot to tape it before I started painting so we'll see how that ends up holding up in the long run and then I didn't paint uh, that part so that obviously I can still velcro and uh, attach my uh, loadout to you know I kind of anytime I want to clip something in here and attach it I want to leave that to make sure that's good and then I left the back because, I don't know, it seemed like a good idea and I might want to put stuff on there. But overall, this is, this is how it turned out. I used about, I think, three total coats of tan and then just some streaking with the green to kind of try to break it up a little bit. So, this has been my experiment. I think this one's been pretty successful. I also have a backpack coming. I'm curious to see how that ends up. But, if you have a black plate carrier and you're thinking about painting it, uh, you just need a couple cans of Rust-Oleum paint and you can end up trying to get something like this. It's always going to be a little bit experimentish, uh, especially with nylon, just because it absorbs so much paint and the color just doesn't take as well as, as when you're painting a gun. So, feel free to live a little and uh, 
be bold. It can't get worse. Look at it that way. Uh, you're only ever going to be able to help it. So, hope that was helpful. Let me know if you uh, try to plate, paint your plate carrier. Would love to see the final pictures. Do brave deeds and endure.